hey folks, welcome back. Uh, I say back, I haven't been here since Saturday. Uh, yesterday being out of London. I've got a little bit of an update. Um, I mean, a lot of you will know about this already, but the Press Association uh, finally released to all of its regional publications uh, details of what happened last week on Friday and the results of the competition. Uh, there were 12 troopers, as we know, six from the Blues and Royals and six from the Lifeguards. Of those 12, uh, two-thirds, eight troopers, made it through um, to the Elizabeth Cup. Um, one of them will be the overall winner. That will be announced uh, in May at the Elizabeth Cup. And more importantly, they will get to form uh, an honour guard for His Majesty. Let me read you the story, guys, because uh, it's very specific, and I can, for the first time ever, mention details, names, uh, on my video. Why? Because they've now been released to the wider press, and that includes myself, even though I'm not press. Uh, I was told very firmly to wait until the details have been made public before announcing them myself. Here's the last gatesman doing his rounds, guys. Blues and Royals will be out of here shortly. He's being very kind and thoughtful and walking in front of uh, the tourists. Okay, so troops in the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment assembled in the parade square at High Park Barracks to take part in an annual event to find the best turned out soldier and horse. I might have to interrupt this if the blues come out, folks. The Princess Elizabeth Cup dates back to 1949 when, the, when then Princess Elizabeth, later Queen Elizabeth II, proposed the idea for the Richmond Horse Show. It crowns the best turned out trooper from the two most senior regiments in the British Army. The lifeguards on the Blues and Royals locked in a rivalry stretching back to the restoration of King Charles in 16... King Charles II, apologies, in 1660, each put forward six challengers to compete for eight places at the Royal Windsor Horse Show in May. The top eight finishers were selected on Friday. That's the video that we uh, filmed at Hyde Park, folks. The lifeguards will be represented by... Troopers Joe Jessup, Kieran Jones, Vittorio Vetreno, apologies Vittorio if I've mispronounced your name, uh, and Watts Fleming, while the Blues and Royals will be represented by Troopers Seth Adams. Uh, for some reason, the Press Association have left out the, uh, the first name. I won't mention it because it's not there. Seth Adams, uh, Dandy, that's a, a lady trooper, Ethan Jeffrey, uh, and a second lady trooper, Siobhan Mottram. Um, there we have it, folks, the four lifeguards. Uh, one of the lifeguards is very well known to us. He has a very cheeky smile and blue eyes, as indeed one of the... In fact, to be honest, I mean, all, all of the blues, but one in particular is very known to us, as he is often on Montgomery, as indeed he was on Friday. The eight troopers will meet the king and form his majesty's retinue on the king's birthday parade in June, and the regiment of the winning trooper will receive all important bragging rights for a year. Indeed. just looking through actually oh here it is this is the thing that I really liked actually uh, it mentioned about details about the 12 judges for example we had three generals on Friday I didn't realize I wasn't probably paying attention uh, three generals German defense attaché brigadier Torsten Gersdorf the chief officer of the army benevolent fund Tim Hyams and experts from across defense we really did have some big wigs there didn't we in fact very much so judges gave a score of one to five points for 37 specifications from the cheek pieces to the saddle flaps, while a further 15 points were available for overall impression. This is the money uh, part that I wasn't sure of and wasn't allowed to announce. Second white line, oh, please on it today, which is great. So the booze are coming at any moment. Let me just finish this off. Last year, we mentioned that last year, we had that magnificent lady lifeguard trooper who was giving the presentation to the bigwigs. We were lucky enough to be an intimate observer uh, of that wonderful talk by the trooper, uh, and it mentioned her here. Last year, trooper Amy Brooke of the lifeguards broke the Blues and Royals winning streak. So apparently the Blues have tied this up for some time. News to me, I didn't know the history of this uh, event, but yeah, the Blues have been winners for many years, and that was broken, that streak of wins was broken uh, by the lifeguard trooper, uh, Trooper Brooke. Not really surprising. I mean, we saw how incredibly knowledgeable she was in the video. Uh, that was a real wonder. I tried to try to pride myself on learning as much detail as I can about what I'm filming, what I'm seeing. But goodness me, Trooper Brooke, that's something to aspire to. Her level of knowledge was, what can I say? I mean, beyond comprehensive, mind-bogglingly mind -bogglingly comprehensive. Yep. 
very envious of, uh, of the troopers' professionalism uh, and a very, very worthy winner last year, clearly. It was daunting to begin with, she said of her campaign, but it teaches discipline and attention to detail. You strive to be the best. In a briefing before the inspection, that's a briefing we filmed, Trooper Brooke reminded judges of key battlegrounds in turnouts. The jackboots and the noseband, those will be the two places where people will put in the most effort. Jackboots are an iconic symbol of the household cavalry. They are indeed. Reflecting on the drizzle during Friday's inspection, <laughs> uh, Trooper Vetriano, that is the trooper we saw in part two at the end, uh, being interviewed by the Press Association. Very, very, very friendly, articulate trooper. A uh, very good-looking young man and exceedingly pleasant, in fact, uh, as I think a lot of you recognised in that video. Uh, quote, uh, you get scared because a lot of people will adduce, in inverted commas, their boots. It's like a floor cleaner that makes the boots very shiny and it reacts to the rain. It makes them blue. Oh, well, I'm not sure the trooper's accusing anyone of cheating, but he's pointing out that, you know what, there might be a few that attempted to... <laughs> <laughs> but not this year, of course. Okay, so, ladies and gents, here we go. Got a good spot. Say goodbye to the magnificent Blues and Royals this morning. Look at this. Horses are in a super good mood because it's sunny and warm. Yes, it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Absolutely magnificent in this light. In fact, so magnificent that I'm going to briefly head through the tunnel to the parade ground. Only very briefly though, folks. The lifeguards won't be here yet. They'll be heading down the mall, or along the mall rather, uh, as we're filming the blues lining up here. Now you're probably wondering, how is it that London uh, it's a city with you know, so much wealth, prosperity, affluence, uh, has so many unemployed people. Well, let me tell you everybody, they're not unemployed. Why? Because, ladies and gents, uh, they're tourists. That's why. Now, we might have a sprinkling of uh, British peasantry here, but primarily foreign tourists. Those clouds this morning, look at that, guys. How moody is that sky? I hope the cameras really pick it up as I see it. Absolutely extraordinary clouds over horse guards. Not menacing, but really, really, really beautiful clouds. Spectacular, to be honest. Wow. That's a magnificent morning, isn't it? Look at that. Really heavy clouds. However, have no fear. It's not going to rain, guys. Today might well be the turning point. We're going to have a bit of, bit of wet on a couple of days this week, but today, 10, 11 degrees, Tomorrow, same, uh, and going into next week, we should have some very warm and sunny days. We should be at 15 degrees as a pretty much daily occurrence by the end of this month. April, next month, spring proper, folks. I will show you the blooming everything in St. James's Park, etc. A lot more to see when, uh, when the spring arrives proper. I noticed a lot of croquets, uh, I think they're called, no, they're, are they called croquets? These little flowers. I never remember. Croquets, croquets, I forget. Uh, and daffodils. Yeah, um, absolutely glorious. Really, really pretty. Sorry, guys, I'm not uh, not one for gardening, so... <laughs> uh, I've got to head round because I'm spotting the lifeguards. Uh, they're just about to turn onto Horse Guards Avenue. And that, ladies and gents, means we might get some super beautiful police horses. I'm walking a little bit wide so that for the first time we get the entire building plus tourists, plus blues, plus clouds in the frame. How's about that, eh, for a Monday morning? That has got to be one of the most glorious Monday morning scenes anywhere on earth. If there's somewhere better in your city, people, anywhere in the world, wherever you are, tell me about it. Why? Because I'll add it to my list of to-dos. Because I honestly, I can't think of anything I'd rather see on a Monday morning at around well, 10 to 11 or something at the moment than this. This is why it attracts this massive number of people who stand here patiently and wait. And what a sight that is, look. Absolutely glorious. I should really start taking some proper pictures, folks. <laughs> and sell them to, uh, sell them to, uh, 
<laughs> to London District. I'm developing quite an eye slowly for the light. Now, much as it's spectacular this side, uh, lifeguards are just approaching now. The other side, Downing Street, is very gloomy. Look at that. You see? The sun, the weather, does not like our Prime Minister. And you know what? I understand why. Because he's useless, that's why. Uh, Ukrainian flag, and I believe that's a Scottish flag we've got up there as well. Okay, we've got a, a grey at the front. Grey police horse. Uh, a single police horse. Then at the back, at the rear of the troop, we've got another grey, and it looks to me like... Actually, I can't even see it. Oh, like a really dark grey. What do we call the horse, folks, that is uh, super dark grey? He almost looks silver. Is that a dapple grey? I kind of forget the terminology when it comes to colours. Okay, I'm able to get reasonably close, but I'm going to push my luck. I'm just looking at how close the rest of the crowd are at the moment. The officer at the front will tell me if I'm too close. I don't think I'm too close. But then you never know until, uh, until you're too close and they tell you to get the back. Familiar face or not, I need to abide by the rules just like everybody else. Okay, so, lifeguards arriving. Officer is telling everybody to make some space. He's taking them in really tight on this side. I'm genuinely surprised. Okay, this is good for us because now I definitely won't be told to move. Here they come. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Corporal of Horse at the rear. Recognise him. And two absolute beauties at the back, as usual. Magnificent. That, ladies and gents, is our cue to dash round very quickly. Back towards the tunnel. The film are coming in, look, all the toys running forward to get pictures. It's actually really good, folks, that most people don't understand how this little ceremony works in the mornings, because if everybody knew that after they've lined up, they're going to go through into the tunnel, everybody would rush into the tunnel and we wouldn't get any... Uh, any decent footage. Horses are in a very good mood this morning. Look, not one of them seems to be playing up, he says, as a lifeguard is thrown. Oh, hold on. That one was a bit full. Hold on. I spoke too soon. It's somewhat fruity. Horses, don't do it. Come on. Nope. All good. Okay, let's dash back into the yard, folks. Remember, when it's a sunny, bright morning, it's better to be on that elusive corner. So I'll do that if possible. Let's have a look and see. These days with light. Ah, there's not sunlight in the yard. Sunlight's at the back. It's moved over a teeny weeny bit. It's bright in the yard, but it's not sunny. Okay, not to worry. So this is still going to be the best spot, actually, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I was really hoping that we'd keep the sunshine in the, in the yard. However, that's Big Ben. Bong. Yes. Can you hear it in the distance, folks? my favourite bell of the day. Magnificent. There we are. Uh, and to all the pedants that write in the comments, it's not Big Ben, it's Elizabeth Tower. It's like, hello, duh. Everyone knows that, but it's commonly referred to the tower and the bell collectively together as Big Ben. Uh, how many tours do you think come out of the station? Oh, look, it's the Elizabeth Tower. Uh, none, basically. Everyone knows it around the world as Big Ben. That's why I refer to it as Big Ben. Big Ben is the bell that everybody in London, all Londoners, refer to it as Big Ben. Um, for the same reason that we call uh, the Houses of Parliament the Houses of Parliament, even though the official name is the Palace of Westminster, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so officers making sure everybody's in the right spot. Uh, celebration, guys, the military musical spectacular in July uh, is being advertised already. Here come the lifeguards. And luckily, we are right in prime position, everybody. Unusually for us, of course. Here in the yard. What's that? 
Those things is a tiger. Seen it. You hear that? The horse is thinking he's a tiger. Like, rrr, rrr. Sort of tiger dog cross. It's a very unusual sound of a horse. It's almost a little bit more nasal. That was very throaty. Okay, so we've got the lifeguards. Next up, they'll change over. The two beauties that we're looking at will change over. Super nice and quiet at the front. Won't last, never does, but. Let's see who we've got here before they head out. Just in case we've got a new one that we didn't spot. Let's have a quick look. There's me like desperately trying to take a, a photo really quickly. They're going, to, they're going to be taken off any minute and replaced with, uh, with the lifeguards. Let's have a look. Who have we got here? The only reason I'm checking, folks, is just in case there are some new ones that we've never seen before making their first ever appearance. Okay, wait, that's an interesting number. Let's have a look. Oh, this is a mare. And this horse, everybody, let's see if she looks at me, is Lyric. Nope, she's not going to look. <laughs> yes, I recognise you, beauty. Yeah, it's Lyric. Okay, so mare at this end. The other one's looking a little bit lonesome. He's like, don't forget about me. I wouldn't dream of it. You gloriously big, beautiful horse. Oh! It's like, okay, who's this one? Let's have a quick... Oh! Having a little bit of a... Uh, maybe you caught a cold from a tourist. Okay, who have we got this one? Oh! Okay, this is quite a low number. Let's have a look and see which horse this is. Ah! This horse hasn't been here for ages, folks. Like ages, ages, ages. I need to look at the diary to confirm how long it's been, but it's been a good while. Look, look at the camera. I say she, it's a mare. Uh, sorry, it's a gilding. Apologies, folks. Uh, this is Talar. Now, not a new horse. We've seen Talar before, but I'm just trying to think. It's been ages. Real handsome horse. Kind of like a junior version of Monty, but equally beautiful. Yep, it's 100% Talar. See this tourist, look, how did he know? He's like, ta -da! To his friends, look, ta -da! In fact, every tourist taking a picture and going there, ta -da! It's going to make the whole thing. How the hell does everyone know my name? Yep, ta -da! And it does indeed sound, oh, Thank officer's you. saying to somebody, get <laughs> over that side. It sounds exactly like ta -da! but it's not, it's ta -da! Need to be careful of the light this morning as well, in fact. Actually, this end is going to be a little bit awkward to film the uh, changeover unless I'm right in front. Yeah, bro, I'm filming. Right, here we go. It's happening in about five minutes. Five minutes? Oh, five minutes. They're just about to swap them over. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll wait. Thank you so much. <laughs> Pleasure. Thank you. Oh, I did it. a bit longer than that. No, they just rode through. They're just sort of jumping off I mean okay. strictly speaking five minutes but unless they're delayed it might be longer but they're coming yeah you can even go inside <laughs> enjoy is this for YouTube or? it is you're going to be famous sir am I yeah are you happy about that or not oh you can show me it's not a problem <laughs> thank you I've been on television unfortunately fell off the stand on the ground wait you've but oh I see <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say which uh, which TV show? Yeah. Only Fools and Horses, <laughs> Forty Towers. Out that that, that <laughs> joke's out of date now because <laughs> the TVs hang on walls. No, I know, I know. It was a good one back in the day, though. Yeah. What's your What's your YouTube channel? That's a good question. One second, let me show you. It is. Uh, the Have video will be up today? with you in it uh, briefly. Oh yeah, that's great. Evening. That's fine. It is. Let's hope it opens up. Reception here is super patchy. One minute it's working fine, the next minute it's a complete joke. Yeah. What, that, what oh, there it on? is. Uh, Vodafone. Okay. London City Walk. Oh, I've seen your. I've gone back. No, you don't flatter me like that. You've never I'm heard sorry, of I it. I'm subscribed. Are you really? I really am. 
<laughs> that is okay. So out of the forty-eight thousand five hundred people globally that are subscribed to the channel, what are the chances that I bump into somebody here at Horse Cards this morning? Exceedingly limited. If you think about the eight and a half billion people on Earth. Ironic. Yeah, really, that's true. Isn't it? it is. If you think, I mean, statistically, yeah, statistically speaking, it's ridiculous. Yeah. You'd better buy a lottery ticket. I was just thinking be. Euro Millions on the way back, one hundred percent, absolutely. So I mean, now you're you going to get. I, I don't have a card, but you're going to get a notification today that you are on YouTube. When it pops up as this London City Walk just published, blah, blah. Okay. There, there's your so sign. So where, where, where are you based, actually? Uh, I live very close to here, South Kent. Okay. So uh, I film here typically you three mornings South a week. Kent, I mean, it, it rather depends. I find it's gone downhill a little bit. South Kent, and guys, don't listen to this part. Parents South Kent has got way... sent me to the VC. I was going to say it's got way too many Frenchies. Guys, ignore that part yeah, about the French I was, people. I was nearly sent to the Frenchie school. <laughs> um, I bet you had a narrow escape, no? I told it wasn't a very nice school to be in. I mean, to be honest, the only thing that surprised me when I go past is how many of the kids are outside smoking and they're very young. Yeah, it's which is odd. Yeah, it's, it is a French thing, I know, but yeah, 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 uh, I'm glad I didn't send any of mine there, that's for sure. <laughs> very glad. French education is very good. Uh, it's far more comprehensive than our education, Fun. especially before high school. Yeah. However, how many French universities are in the top ten globally? None. What does that tell you? General, general education and engineering education is better than here. Yeah. Actually better. But you have to wonder why it is that they, they seem, not inferior, but seem to really lack and fall Let me behind. check. I'm, because I've certainly seen you. I'm not 100% sure I'm subscribed. Any moment we're going to get the uh, the horses changing over. This horse we're looking at now hasn't been in here a few for a couple of months. Yeah, that they're in just just getting ready. Lifeguards are about to take over. They just arrived. I, I want to get the picture of the back guard. I'm glad to see that. No, very very much so. There are in fact many. There are about in the yeah. Blues and Royals. There are about seven or eight lady troopers, um, and I think the I know personally of six troopers, six non-white troopers yeah. in the Blues. Wonderful thing. I mean, I say that diversity in the household cows. Oh, thank you, Martin. I'm John. John. Yep. And you live in South Kent. Do you come from South Kent? Are you a South Kent person? Uh, I wasn't born in South Kent. Um, I was actually born in W1K, uh, which is right off Park Lane. Uh, not not, not silver. splitting hairs. Actually, at home. At home. Hmm? You are born at home. No, 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 no. I'm saying that that's where I was born. W1K. A place called Gilbert Street. Just off Oxford Street, it runs between uh, Oxford Street yeah, and yeah. Grosvenor Square. Yeah. That's where there's I'm no that's hospital there. No, there's no hospital there. You're born no, saying, you, you, wait, wait, you mean which hospital is everyone? Where was I actually brought up? You were brought up in W1K. Ah, W1K. So you're in yeah. real central Londoner. I am indeed a Londoner, yeah, through and through. That's amazing. I mean, I'm a Londoner, but I'm North London, which is. Like Hampstead? Highgate. Ah. Highgate's great because it feels like you're in London, but at the same time, you don't have this much busyness and you've got a lot more green space. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, definite benefits. I was going to say, you better hurry up if you want to get a picture of this guy. He's about to leave. In the next 10 seconds, he's off. Good luck. <laughs> right, folks, sorry, we got, got a little bit carried away there. Uh, I'm not sure I want to divulge which hospital I was born in, but hey, there we are. Uh, Portland, if anyone gives or whatever. So here comes uh, the lifeguard. Let's hope, everybody, that it's a horse, lifeguard horse that not only have we not seen before, but that we can identify. Blues have had a long weekend, folks. Uh, the troopers that we're looking at at the moment did not take part in the Elizabeth Cup on Friday because they'd already ridden over Friday morning to be King's Guard here at Horse Guards. But they've been here Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and again this morning. It's our favourite, personal favourite shift of the week, but my goodness me, the troopers, those 72-hour shifts are not easy, folks. Trust me. Sleeping in a, you know, uh, a collective dorm here at Horse Guards. The troopers do live, work, eat, study, stay, etc., and socialise here at Horse Guards. Okay. Lifeguard Corporal of Horse. Thoroughly splendid. And here comes our first lifeguard trooper of the week. Oh wow. This looks like a lifeguard version of Tipper. 
it's not Tipper, everybody, because that's the Blues horse, but it's that forelock, actually. Very Tipper-esque forelock. Okay, let's see. Fingers crossed that we can get an idea on this beauty. Oh, my goodness me, it's super bright here. One second. Light shining on those hooves. Let's hold the camera super still to even get a clear picture. Okay, we've got the number. Is it on the list? Oh, this is the key thing, people. Is it on the list? Got it? Are you done? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just in still... What am I? 25 minutes into an hour's plus video. So, so do you do, how often do you do this particular uh, Typically three mornings a week. So this is yeah. a full-time job? No, it's not a job. I'm, I retired. I retired when I was 39. You're retired? Retired. Oh, Lucky how me. How you when you 39. How much? 39. 39? I, wor I worked hard, trust me. Yeah, sure. Right, folks, let's have a look at the list. Right, I'm in the yard. Enjoy. Okay, John, I'll be in touch. Okay, cheerio. Okay. All right, bye. Okay, let's have a quick look in here. Oh, I spotted someone else we know. That was Yvonne, everybody. Uh, who's this scoundrel on the line here? Excuse me, sir, do you know the rules? You're supposed to be on the second white line. Come on, give me a smart reply. That's what the replies. <laughs> replies bugger off. Okay, let's have a quick look. So, we've got a mare at the front today. The horse on that side is a mare. Yeah, a rare example of a lifeguard mare. And that horse, everybody, is Yvonne. Okay, we need to kind of out the way a little bit. Lots of people come into the yard waiting for the horses to ride out. Yeah, that's Yvonne. I'll grab the other one in a second. Uh, been a while since Yvonne's been here. The lifeguards have far fewer mares than the Blues and Royals, I can tell you that. Um, less than half the number of the Blues and Royals. I don't know why that is, but yeah, they have a lot less. So Yvonne, have we got a lifeguard gatesman? No, we haven't. You know why? Because they haven't swapped over yet. Let's come in next, and we're going to be in prime position to capture it. Get ready. Here we go. Into the tunnel. Is, is it all east? I'm walking at zombie speed, everybody, right now. Yeah, no. Like everyone else. Here we are. Look. Ta da! Complete with guard. Okay, so this is the Blast Blues Royals Gatesman of this tour of duty. That's a bit of an American expression, to be fair, but you know what I mean. King's lifeguard. The, uh, the lifeguards just came out, so they'll come around into the tunnel any moment. New Chitsman, New Gatesman, uh, with I believe probably the Lance Corporal of course. We'll see. Here they come. Let's finish the regimental handover, guys. Blues and Rolls are finished. Lifeguards are now officially, both as boxmen, chitsmen, gatesmen, the King's Guard here this morning. Wait for these tourists to move away in a second. I'll go back through. Decent tanner, actually. And it happened quick, didn't it? How quiet was it in the yard when the, when the lifeguards came through? Now it's flipping jammed. People are like, whoa. Okay, so next up, the blues horses will leave. The thing is, we don't know how long that might be. So actually, I'm not going to wait for it. I'm going to go back to the front. I wait and see. Everybody's made a little, sort of little tunnel. So you went in the boxy job? No, it wasn't me. Somebody stole my kit, went in there, used the AI to pretend it was my voice. I was really upset. I thought you went in. No, I, I did. Yeah, I did. It was a lot of fun, actually. I mean, it was amazing to be up that close see what yeah. was going on there. Yeah, it was really, really, really amazing. Let's hope one of our favourite troopers wins. Problem is we've got eight favourite troopers and all eight of them might win. What do you want about? The, they chose eight of the 12 that were there competing for Elizabeth. Okay, so it was Elizabeth Cup prep on Friday and then the yeah. judges were choosing eight out of the 12 troopers to go forward. So you went in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so 
four of the Blues and Royals and four of the lifeguards are up for yeah, yeah for, for overall win. Let's see. Trooper's looking very happy this morning in the sunshine. Look at this. He's smiling. Why is he happy? For the same reason that we're happy. The sun is out, everybody. Even the police got their sunglasses on. Look. That shows you just how nice the sun it is this morning. <laughs> uh, it's super funny when tourists realise that the camera's there and they try and get out of the way. It's like, hold on, it's too late. Number two. Uniform, that is. It's such a super uniform. Right, we are back. Trying not to get in this photographer's pictures. Let's see who we've got at this end, everyone. Who have we got here, then? Now, there's a very good chance, uh, prob probability more than 50%, that the horse we're looking at now will be on the list. Let's see. Is it, is it really? You can get the soldier in in that puddle. Ah, okay, I'm going to do that in a second when all these people are out of the way. That's a, yeah, it's a brilliant re spot for a reflection, isn't it? You've got down that end, right down the end where the end of that puddle is, you can get him in there. You Perfect. In the puddle. I'll do it next one. I do this horse, wait for this group to go by and then see if I can get the reflection. Right, let's have a look, folks. Which horsey have we got? Oh, goodness me. Even looking at the hoof, I can see the LG really clearly, but... Gosh, that's a very, 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 very... Hard to read stamp. One second, let's have a quick look. Oh. It wasn't bad, was it? Ah, I, can't, I can't really talk about that. <laughs> yeah, I can't talk about that, sorry, unfortunately. Uh, it was, it, I mean, I didn't know about it until the night before, but obviously I was happy and delighted Brilliant. to be there. Yeah, it was a good thing to see. I will not forget it, that's for sure. Absolutely. We'll check and see which horse this is that we've got at the front here. Let's have a quick look. Viper. Actually, wait, no, it's not. Hold on. This horse is Majesty. Yep, Majesty. I think this horse was here last week, I think. They're not. It won't be announced until May. Uh, they they chose. There's a good article that I found uh, yesterday in, oddly enough, I think it was in the Shropshire. Shropshire Evening News, and uh, they named the eight troopers that have been chosen. Uh, where are they? Here. Yeah. Top eight finishers were selected on Friday. So I just kind of read this article out when I started this video. Yeah, yeah, but very worthwhile. Thank you. <laughs> Cheerio. Hey, morning. Okay, folks. Right back to the uh, back to the ID. See, I'm nowhere near as good as you. I'm going to try in a minute. Let's have a look. So, guys, it was what did I say? Majesty. Let's have a look and see. Maybe we've got tons of people walking by at the front. Hopefully, they're not all going to walk in front of the camera. Okay, so we've just been told by the photographer that if I head down to this end, we can apparently. Although my kit is not a winner as precise as his, because don't think I'm filming a video. I can't sort of adjust for really good stills, but he's right. Look at that, guys. That is a really glorious reflection. He was apps. Wait, let me get down on my knees. It's rare that I do this. The last time I got down on my knees, guys, was uh, was when I was practicing meeting Her Late Majesty. Sad it never happened. There we are. How's about that? That really is an extraordinary view. Great stuff, Colin. Thank you for mentioning that. The trooper, the horse, the lamps, the gate, the poster, everything captured doubly. Amazing. That really is an extraordinary picture. Love it. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't think of that. First time we've ever had it so clearly. I'm surprised actually there's still this much sitting water to be quite honest with you. Look at this. This is uh, London District, Horse Guards building, continued along Whitehall, heading towards Downing Street. Again, gloriously reflected in the puddle. Magnificent, really. So, Majesty, good morning, Your Majesty.
I really forgot actually which horse we've got on this end, which is a bit annoying because <laughs> I can name those five minutes ago. How to keep my train of thought, folks, when there are so many people here to speak to. Pretty surprising and busy for a Monday. Anyway, next up will be the Blues leaving. So I'm going to sort of loiter like everyone else in the yard for a little bit. It's 22 minutes past 11, uh, which means that any moment the Blues will be heading off. So I'm just going to sort of stand here uh, and let movement through the yard speak for itself, guys. And if anyone else will come and talk to us this morning. Nope, no one's going to talk to us. <laughs> Okay, that poster, I know so many of you are going to ask about that, so let me film it now, one second. Okay. There it is. This is what's happening, folks. A household division presents a military musical spectacular celebration. Um, last year it was called Auburn Scepter. They're not at the moment naming anything, um, curiously. They typically do. But this is on the 16th, 17th and 18th of July. Uh, get your tickets pretty fast, folks, before it sells out. Now, the only thing is, and I will mention this because it was a, it was a real struggle last year. Uh, folks, you know that I went to a couple of those evenings uh, when it was Auburn Scepter and also to uh, two of the three Troop in the Colour, colour Ceremonies. The very first one um, was an absolute washout. It, was, it, was, it poured down. I was absolutely drenched, and so was everyone else. Um, including the uh, mm. the troopers and soldiers. Most people, about 56% of the audience, left before it finished because it absolutely shucked it down. Chances of that happening at that time of the year are extremely low, but if it does happen, the show goes on and you don't get a refund. During one of the trooping the colour ceremonies, it was absolutely boiling hot, uh, and one of the soldiers famously keeled over and fell on the floor while still trying to play his trumbo uh, trumpet, no trombone trumpet or trombone, I forgot now which I forget anyway that video was a very very popular video, went viral all around the world the point I'm making by mentioning this when you buy tickets for these ceremonies be prepared for either of those two things be prepared to get absolutely soaking wet in other words, even if it says it's going to be nice and dry bring an umbrella or waterproofs conversely even if it doesn't say it's going to be boiling hot and sunny, bring lots of water and either a summer hat or a parasol. Because you know we sometimes get four seasons in a single day, even in the summer here. And you know, it's, it, it was, I'd take the rain, the cool rain any day, over sitting in that boiling hot sun because there was no cover. Uh, it was low 30s and my goodness me, it was a struggle. Even wearing a white flannel suit and a summer hat and so on, it was absolutely roasting out there on the playground last year. I'll never forget it. Yep. <clears throat> it actually was hotter sitting there watching the show than uh, being on a beach in Morocco in, uh, in 45 degrees. It was that hot. Yeah, London heat and humidity is an absolute nightmare, folks. And yeah, you can say, oh, blah, blah, it's nothing compared to, I don't know, Thai humidity or whatever. You're right, it's not. But then in Thailand, you're not expected to wear a flannel suit and dress very formally for a, a military occasion. Here, being all dressed up uh, and just absolutely melting and being stuck in a crowd of thousands of people not able to go anywhere until the show's finished. It was uh, a remarkable show, but at the same time it was just like, wow. Okay, massive number of people coming through. I'm not sure from where. It's going to be a busy one, everybody. Look, flooding through the tunnel. And next up will be the Blues leaving. That's why I'm still in the yard. I'm guessing, wait, it's a student group. No idea which country they're from. Everyone wants to get themselves on the... YouTube today, voice or video, or both. This important fellow is just going to mow through. Look, he's like, get out of my way, everybody. I'm going through. I'm very important. Okay, I think we finally almost got to the end. I'm watching behind me for the trooper who might well decide to come out of the archway any moment. Then again, he might not. Oh, wait. Police are telling somebody off. Someone's being naughty. Not sure what they did.
Blue's troopers are in there. They're, uh, they're mounted. Coming at any moment. I'm not sure where to look, actually. I try to notice it somewhere in the videos to, to uh, go around a little bit more slowly when I pan the camera uh, because I've noticed YouTube gets a teeny bit blocky uh, even in 4k if uh, if you pan too far so I'm going to try and do it a little more slowly these days the gimbal takes away a lot of the judder but it's still I don't know what it is YouTube just doesn't like it when you pan super fast okay the gates are opening up we know what that means Yes, we do. Blues and Royals about to leave. YouTube. Here they come, everybody. You got the best spot. <laughs> and a couple of horse at the back. But he can't wait to get over to Hyde Park and have his breakfast. So you know what? I can't say I blame him. Magnificent, eh? <laughs> Where are you from, guys? It's uh, Italian. I'm from London, uh, Boston. Oh, you're from you're from Boston. Yes. Ah, but we're originally Italians from Boston, or no, no Macedonian, Armenian. Armenian. Macedonian, Armenian. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> have a good day, guys. You've got a great spot to watch them going out. That's it. Though. Everything's done now. It's finished. Yeah. That That's all of it. Yeah, you got the best part. <laughs> See you. That's it. Done. Finished. Okay, let me try and weave through and get back to the front. So many lovely people about today. Macedon Armenian. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Very good looking people. They were so good looking, that's why I presume they were Italian. And by absolute good fortune, she got a perfect spot right at the entrance to the tunnel and I'm super glad that she did that really made their day you see how excited they were they were like whoa but then there was that sort of deflationary moment that that's it like we came all the way here and that's it never mind it is what it is okay minions guys they're shooting the new minions movie here look if I walk all the way back you can see how many minion folks they've assembled look minions meet the horse and at this end we've got junior minions <laughs> that's a lot of minions okay blues are off they are leaving you see through the tunnel just heading out across horse guards parade back to Buckingham Palace Constitution Hill Hyde Park and then Hyde Park Barracks okay minions are leaving guys which means that hopefully the tourists will start to enjoy pictures with the king's horse Minions have now departed. It's a lot of minions. Okay, so it's exactly 11.30 and I think if the gatesman is going to come out, he's going to be super happy not to have to trample through these minions. Oh, the old troopers told them, he said, minions, wait here for the King's Guard. Officers helping them. Super light at the front, look at this. In fact, I've just noticed a similarity between uh, the trooper's cloak and the London Red Bus. Just getting the rest of the lifeguards coming in, folks, as the gatesman goes back to his post. Somebody having to quickly move their buggy out of the way. Ta da! How's about that then? Oh, one horse almost slipped. Were I a Frenchman, I'd have two words right now. C'est super. Right, here they come everybody. Remember, Monday morning, fresh fruit, vegetables, occasional pieces of meat but always bread and cheese. And this is why you get so many people arriving here. They don't give out tickets for this event though, guys. So anyone visiting London, finding yourselves hungry, 
head to horse guards Monday morning, come through the tunnel, look desperate, you'll be given free food, at the very least bread and cheese by the guards at the front. It's actually shocking in fact, they're going to run out of food, look this guy's like there, is that where the onions are given out? My goodness man, I never realised there were this many hungry tourists in London. Wow, that's a lot of hu wow, hold on. Let me get to the front, guys, otherwise I'm going to be trampled like in The Walking Dead. Hungry peasants flooding through. Oopsie. Try not to slap my camera in someone's face. I'm going to go to this side because the light, for the moment, is superior. Sorry, I was quite for a moment because there are other people filming. I've now got a little spot so I can speak again. I think Bro with his arms crossed is thinking, hmm. If only I'd bothered to study harder at school, uh, I could have been a King's Guard. You can tell from the body language, can't you? Some people just, uh, what's the word? Don't know how to be civil. There's a massive flood of people out to the front. However, I hope the guard is not going to talk to you. Good Lord, it's, I swear it's like a Minions Day Out. Look, what's going on today? Look at this. March of the Minions. Notice no one's going up to the horse, which is very curious when this many people are coming through the gate. spotted everybody uh, our magnificent Macedonian Armenian friends taking pictures with the horse wait let me see if I can if they're gonna go back for pictures one second they might be able to make a guest appearance in my video however wait before that hold on hold everything folks stop stop the press Okay, the group of Frenchies. Lots of them. Who wants to be silly? The teachers are right here, so let's see what happens. You see with a bush like that hanging off his head. Allez, on est says the teacher. That means, hey, pupils, let's get the hell out of here. Give me some space for a real photographer, this fellow. He dresses though, he's going to go and actually take pictures of lions and tigers. Wow, groups are huge today and they're still coming through the tunnel. Who's up next? Hey, morning. <laughs> All good, you? Say again? Uh, YouTube. YouTube.
<laughs> it's probably the best family shot with the guard ever. <laughs> little dude is like, no. <laughs> little bro did not want to be in the picture. He's like, no, I want to see the horses. <laughs> of the way she, I thought she was going to drag him then. I said, get in the picture. Good amount of movement today, actually, all around. Should that mean? yard guys so many people are sort of uh, crowding around the arches I'm not sure why they're crowding around the other horse I actually don't know what everybody's looking at the uh, the guard as far as I know is still at his post yeah he is I'm not sure where Huge coop just standing and staring at him, frozen. I'm trying to be careful of that light. I hate it when it gets over the image gets overexposed.
4K, it's just like being here, people, am I right? Vicarious London Tours. <laughs> yeah, the overexposure again. There's some on the other side where the sign is. Light at this end is a nightmare. You didn't know there was a horse here. <laughs> it's that, crazy. I really didn't realise. This happened before. One, one day a guy walked through on the phone and he walked straight into the horse. Yeah, really, like smashed him in the face. Uh, I was just about to say watch out, but you saw it just, just in time. No, I was just because we are meeting my brother later on and I was just like, oh, I'm, I'm walking towards Big Ben. Oh, no, goodness. Look. I'm glad you didn't bash into the horse. You don't want to go on YouTube smash into a horse, do you? No. <laughs> the horse. Oh, the trooper. I mean, good looking young guy. He's, I think he's 20, uh, 19 or 20, this guy. Yeah. Yeah, you, I mean, you can't join the British Army younger. Oh, this regiment younger. Yeah. Wait. No, do you actually didn't know these are serving soldiers? A lot of these guys have been in Afghanistan, etc. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So many people that visit here don't, don't realize that yeah, they're actual real soldiers. I guess they were civil servants, but I didn't realize they were... Oh, they no, no, no. I think a lot of people think because of the ceremony uniform that, yeah, they might well work for government as opposed to being mm -hmm. in the military. Where, where are you from, girl? Brazil. I'm ah, from Brazil. I, I would have guessed you were from Brazil. <laughs> we are originally <laughs> it, from there. I was going to say it's the hair. It's always the hair. You can sell <laughs> straight away. Hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm doubly glad that you didn't walk into the horse. That would have been really awkward, mate. Are you a Londoner? Uh, yeah, yeah, I live here. Uh, I film here a few mornings a week for a YouTube channel. And oh, cool. I'm, I'm just happy for you. Do you do like touristic stuff and then post it? No, look, let me show you one second. I mean, you're, going to, you're actually going to be in today's video, by the way, because I was Because I almost hit off. Yes. <laughs> Please send Hold me the on. link. Wait, one second here, look. Can I show all my friends? <laughs> it's going to be this. One second, if it opens up. London City Walls. Mm. Okay, let me add ah. it. It's yours. Yeah, yeah, it is. London City Walks. He's gonna post me almost. I can't take a horse You can, yeah, go for it. Oh. Oh, ladies, if you don't use YouTube, there's this as well. One second. You use TikTok in Brazil a lot. Um, I, I, I live in here. Oh, she, you live she's my friend. She came to visit. Oh, wow. So you got a, a, another a friend that lives a Brazilian who speaks Portuguese who's a tour guide for you. Yeah. Basically, it's that. Hey, you're very lucky. You're very lucky. <laughs> Well, nice to meet you. Hey, you nice. too. Bye bye. Obrigado. <laughs> well, what a friendly bunch of people we're uh, meeting this morning. I was so close to saying something. It was super close. Lucky, in fact. Such lovely ladies. It would have been very awkward. Uh, her very glamorous friend would have been very upset uh, if she'd walked into the horse. But that's interesting, folks. That's the first time we had a conversation. Uh, with a visitor, in fact. Notice the Brazilian girl I was talking to, primarily in the conversation, lives in London. The other lady is a visitor, her friend. But notice that the lady who lives here in London didn't realise that these are soldiers in the British Army. She thought they were civil servants, people that work for government in civilian roles. What does that tell you? A fluent English speaker, albeit from Brazil, living in London, and even she didn't know so I think we can forgive a lot of the tourists for not knowing that these are serving soldiers in the British military. Yeah, I personally think 
Uh, I mean, one knows that, you know, certain people in high places occasionally watch these videos. I think that maybe an informational sign should be put up in the yard somewhere stating that this area, Horse Guards, has a ceremonial guard for His Majesty. These are serving soldiers in the British military uh, and as such uh, should not be touched uh, and you should not attempt to interact with or speak to them, etc. That's how I think it should be done. Uh, I'm no one, it's just my opinion, folks, but I do think something, single pluck, something that, you know, Tories can be directed to, to indicate that, hold on a second, these are active duty service personnel here in London. Because if uh, if somebody that speaks fluent English and lives in London, and you could hear a lovely, educated, smart Brazilian girl, she didn't know, then how on earth would uh, we expect a friend or indeed anyone else visiting from around the world uh, to know that we've got active duty service personnel performing a ceremonial function here at Horse Guards. Uh, if you agree with me, folks, pop in the comments. Uh, and also, if you if you sort of can think of how it should be phrased, you know, so I think along the lines of what I just said, but that was off the top of my head. If I if I sort of took the time to sit down and think about it, I could probably phrase it more elegantly. But something along the lines of, you know, these are serving soldiers and as such should not be, uh, should not be touched uh, nor spoken to, etc. Um, and perhaps something along the lines of, you know, any disrespect will not be tolerated. Something along those lines, you know, treat, treat the, uh, the soldiers with respect as they're on duty uh, whilst here in ceremonial uniform. Yeah, it's interesting, really interesting. I'm honestly genuinely taken aback. Uh, that the lady thought they were civil servants. Not in any negative way, it's great to get a perspective of somebody visiting. I think in future, guys, in some of my other conversations with people that we encounter here, tourists and visitors, uh, I will ask people in future when I speak to them if they realise that, uh, that the Guard's active duty service personnel or whether they also think that they're either civil servants or people that are employed uh, to perform this function. I think this is the biggest problem, isn't it? The biggest problem is misunderstanding uh, and a lack of knowledge and that is in no way critical of visitors or tourists if there were arguably more comprehensive signage and doesn't need to be at the front here it doesn't need to spoil this beautiful site that we've got right now it's okay in the yard a simple plaque like the plaque at the entrance of the tunnel something on those just explaining it you know a single point of reference so that if anybody wants to speak to the police or anybody asks the tour guides etc they can just say hey there's a sign over there on the wall. That's what's missing here, guys. That would solve, I think, about 80% of the misunderstandings. Trooper's gonna shout at it if she goes to the rain. That's twice going for the rains. Yeah. I mean, we know that folks uh, upstairs listen. Why do we know that? Because roughly a year ago, there was so much touching of the troopers and the reins, etc. Yes, some of it was intentional, but the majority of it was unintentional. It was innocently done, and then people got shouted at. That situation was, I wouldn't say solved, but largely resolved following revision of the sign. If we remember last year, I can't remember when it was last year, I seem to think it was around Easter, perhaps a little after, when they redid the signs, when the signs are repainted. Because the old signs in my early videos did not have the don't touch the reins part at the bottom. So they solved the reins issue with more appropriate, more adequate, more comprehensive signage. We just know they could absolutely do the same if, 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 they do the same with an informational sign of some kind. That's a great picture, a great group shot. Look at this. What are those group is from? Canadian? US? Can't really, uh... Oh, good lord, it's getting even bigger. Hold on a second. I'm gonna use, uh... I can't zoom out that far, guys, to fit everyone in. Wait, no, everyone's walking in front of the group shot. Wait. Yeah, that's a bit better. Look at that. This is the single biggest ever group shot of horse guards. 
Trouble with all these people walking in the camera. Okay, there we go, finally, look at that. Ta-da! I can't see if there's like a teacher or leader of the group. Get in the uh, in the camera. <laughs> oh, try not to get someone's head, guys, in the frame. Easier said than done. See where Namad, wherever they're from. <laughs> Actually, where, where is your group from? All of it. Oh, it's, it's a mixed group. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Can I give you your that group picture you just had a second ago? Um, is going to be on YouTube today, in, as part of a longer video. Okay. Do you want me to show you the channel? It was a great picture. You have got one of the best group pictures I think I've ever seen here. Oh, the building there tonight. Girl, step aside to our yeah, I'm like, take photos. What is it? It's London City Walks. If we look up London City Walks, will that be it? Yeah, it'll be on there probably okay. sort of 4 p.m. this afternoon. That was a great group shot that you guys got. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's the, the U.S. soccer. Ah, so, 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 f f oh, yeah, I was going to say, you guys call it soccer, don't you? It's the London City Walks, that's what we look up. Yeah, London City We'll take a picture if you want of the okay. channel. Just so I managed to fit it all in, there's so many, so many of you. That's a yeah. big group you've got. I think a bunch of football players. Is it a tournament you guys are playing in London, or? Um, we're playing a bunch of friendlies against uh, West Ham, Charlton, and Redford. Oh, wow, no pressure then, eh? Yeah, we're playing tonight at West Ham. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I mean, you got super lucky. It was raining the whole of last week. You arrived at the perfect moment, guys. Look at this. Yes, I know. We're beautiful. Yeah. really lucky. It's really, really fortunate timing. It's pretty warm, too. Yeah. Hey, enjoy it and good luck. Good luck. Okay, mixed, uh, mixed group, guys, support, as you heard, all over the US there. Amazing group picture they've got. Uh, and right on time. Is there going to be a part two today? Maybe. Guess we have to find out. We're almost at the end of part one, folks. And wow, it was non stop, wasn't it? <laughs> Pretty much the moment I uh, pressed record this morning. Showing the love with the channel, guys. I should probably get a logo printed on my cap or something. And he gets West Ham. Oh, banana man, those glasses. I'm dazzled. Are we good? Yeah. How many pictures he needs, but there's a lot of other people waiting as well. Bro. Wow. Even the horse is exhausted from that, folks. As ever. Last tourist. That's the way to do it. Back soon.